Come on, shed a leg, shed a leg. Be free, my kume mo me. Shed a leg, invite a friend, invite a brother, invite a family member. It is the Friday Fire Edition. Come on, Oda. Blessed morning to you, dear viewer, dear listener. We are glad and we are excited that you have joined us again this um, morning, Friday, fire edition of Start and Stir. We are excited and we pray that you will be revived and stirred up for the day. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Those of us who tuned in for the past few days or um, last week and this week, we have been dealing with Revelation from Ezekiel chapter number 37 and today we bring the curtain down on this particular series hallelujah Amen. and we are going to take it from verse number 12 yesterday we dealt with the fact that when we are going through phases of life there are a lot of comments that come to us you hear things you hear um, accusations you hear judgments you hear um reminders that are not supposed to be it even breaks you down further more in the verse number 12 of ezekiel 37 it says then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole of israel this verse number 11 behold they say our bones are dried up and our Hope is lost. We are cut off. We are cut off from our part. Verse 12 says, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, That saith the Lord God, Behold, oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of the graves and bring you into your life into the land of Israel. Amen. Oh, let me read the 12 again. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, hey. the same prophecy, Biomo. the same prophecy, Biomo. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord God, hey. behold, behold, my people, hey. I will, oh, my people, I will open your graves hey. and cause you to come up out of your graves Amen. and bring you into the land of of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is it. When people start chastising and condemning, accusing us and judging us and reminding us, sometimes we become so oppressed that we cannot answer them. Yeah. We lack the words. We don't have the words and the energy to answer them. And what happens is that we give in and we give up and sometimes we say, let them say whatever they want to say. Let them go ahead and talk. When they are tired, they, too, they will stop. Just like the way we are also tired. But what we don't know is that that tiredness is actually bringing you to a place of total dependency on God. My God, my God. There, there is a certain song that was sung many years in Ghana. It says that, say, Oh, who talk about Kwan? Oh, Nyami, oh, Kubi, Mao. Oh, who, oh, Kasa. Oh, Jacob, Paul, oh, Kebi, Mao. It means that when you know how to fight your battles, God will not fight for you. Jesus. 
when you know how to defend yourself, God will not defend you. So when we are broken and we have nothing to say, what happens is that we have actually surrounded and defended the battle to our God. And there's one thing about this God. He never loses a battle. He is mighty in battle. He is great in battle. He is a lion of the tribe of Judah. Hey, the Lord is coming through for you. I pray wherever you seem broken, wherever you seem down, can I assure you that your God is coming to, for you. When you have given up and you say you cannot fight the battle and you call on the Lord to take over, he will come and take over and he will serve you a warm meal of victory. Can I pray and shall fire? Ah. He will respond to the accusations. God will respond to the judgment. Amen. So it is not every enemy that must die. Hey. Because your God is coming to deal with them yourself. For, for, for you. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are broken. Hey. And there seems to be no way out. Hey. That is when God arises and fights for you. Hey. He says I am the voice of the voiceless. Hey. Hey. It is God that sucks flies for the tailless cow. When you have no power, God will come through for you. Amen. Watch this. What answer did God give them in the verse number 12, Ezekiel 37? He says that I, the Lord, you are my people. I came to when people have cast you out and people have denied you and people have called you names. The first thing God comes to do is that God comes to assure you that you are for him. That you are his child. Can I suggest to you that you see when life deals with you like this, the best place to be is to be with God. Yeah. Don't stay away from him. Yeah. Get deeper into, into him yeah. through your worship, through your yeah. prayer and the Lord will own you. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. The first thing God did to them is that he opened their graves. Yeah. Uh, he opened their graves. Yeah. God did not kill the accusers yeah. but in front of the accusers, yeah. he opened their graves. Yeah. Number two, he caused them not to only lie, open, lie in open graves but I call them to stand out from the grave. Mm. Sometimes life can put you in the corner that you begin to adjust and get comfortable. Mm. But God says that today, through your prayer, he's going to stir you up to get out of your comfortable zone. Amen. Your comfort zone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And number three, he said, I will bring them into the land of Israel. Mm. I am ready to pray. If you are ready, begin to lift your voice and bless the name of the living God. Bayadaba mm. shatadaba. Hey, I can't feel your prayer. I can't feel your fire. I come for your fire. It is a Friday fire edition. Let's push it, push it, push it. Bada bada da 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 ba. We honor you. We honor you. We give you praise. Give you glory. We give you adoration. Banda sata. Ikata da ba da da da. Reka papa ya da da ba. Re banda sotori ande. Zeka da ba da ba. Reka da ba. We bless your name, Lord. We honor you, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O God, upon the earth. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. We thank you for life. We thank you for help. We thank you for grace. We honor you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus. When accusations, when evil reminders, and demonic judgment rose up against the children of Israel, the first response God gave is to open their graves. In other words, the children of Israel became submitted or came under these attacks because a certain grave was keeping them. A certain grave had locked them in. The grave represents their problems, their storms, their situations, and they have locked you in. And the Bible says God is having the master key. He is coming to open that grave and cause you to breathe some fresh air. Clap your hands and shout fire. fire. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. any grave, any, grave. Any, problem, any problem, any storm, any storm. holding me captive holding today, today by the word of the Lord. I cause, I cause that grave to open, to open right, now. right now. Every financial grave, Every financial grave keeping me, keeping me in, debt in debt by the power, by the power of, the Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. Let that grave, let that grave be open. Let that grave, grave keeping me, keep me in unwanted, unwanted singleness. singleness. Father, Lord, Father Lord, as I pray, as I pray let, this let this grave open, open, open. 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 open.
in joblessness. As I pray, let that grave open by the word of the Lord. Come on, open fire now. Fire and nation. Friday fire. We are commanded. Let the grave be open according to the word of the Lord. Father, Lord, by your hands, we pray, Lord, let every grave keeping us where we don't want to be. Let that grave be open. And the grave of barrenness, keeping me barren, keeping you barren as a woman, barren as a father, barren. Let that grave be open in the name of Jesus. And the grave of financial barrenness, and the grave of financial unfruitfulness, and the grave of stagnation, keeping you one place. You cannot make advancement, you cannot make, not make progress today in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, He is opening that grave. In the name of Jesus, let that grave be open. Let every grave of suggestion, let every grave of oppression, let every grave be open in the name. I am not dead, I am alive. Therefore, oh God, la barianda basua, padaba. Living people don't belong in the grave. Any grave of divorce, threatening your marriage, let it be open. Any grave of stagnation, any grave of failure, threatening you in your marriage, threatening you in your business, threatening you in your academics, you will fire Matadabaya. Let that grave be open. Let that grave be open. But by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, let every grave holding me down, every grave holding me captive. Every grave holding ministries down, every grave holding marriages down, businesses down, every grave holding your assignment down in the name of Jesus. Let that grave be open. Every grave of unwanted singleness, let them be open. Let them be open. Let it be open according to the word of the Lord. Father Lord, you are the I am that I am. You do what you have said. I open my life. We open our lives. We open the lives in the name of Jesus. And the grave of delay. Let it be open. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Zata ta 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 in the name of Jesus and the grave holding you down. Come up here, shall open by fire. Financial graves, graves of indebtedness, grave of unwanted singleness. Shall open by fire. Can I prophesy to somebody here? And the grave keeping you down. You are alive yet you are in a certain grave. You can never be buried alive. Today thou say the Lord. I should tell somebody listening. And the grave, be it ancestral grave, be it family grave, be it familiar grave, be it strange grave, holding you down. Your destiny does not belong there. Therefore, the hand of the Lord is opening that grave. I pray, oh God, I speak to somebody who has been in a certain position for the past three to five years. Other people are passing you by. It is a grave of stagnation. Let that grave be open. Let that grave be open. Let that grave be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the one whose relationship has delayed from moving from courtship and relationship into marriage, it is a grave by the hand of the Lord. Let that grave be open in the name of Jesus. In the case of fruitfulness of the womb that has delayed, we command, let that grave be open, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the almighty God. Let graves be open. The devil is a liar. 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 The Lord is coming through. They have put a seal on your life. That is a grave. They have put a limitation. That you can never go beyond this level. And they have put you in the grave. Dead people don't rise up and walk. But today the Lord, the God of life, 
He said, Behold, I am the life. I am life. I am life. Say the Lord. He said, I am the life. I am the life. He's coming to open that grave. And I pray, like Lazarus, you will get up. Like Lazarus, you will get out. In the name of Jesus. Number two, he said, I will cause you to come out of your grave. I will cause you to come out of your grave. Some people are wallowing in broken hearts. Oh God, help me today. Some people are wallowing in certain losses and certain failures. Listen, you have been to school and you didn't do well. And because of that, you are struggling to go back. There are some people are wallowing in rejection and dejection. And because of that, you have detached yourself from humanity. You don't have a social life again. Because of a certain treatment you have received, you have a reason to stay in the grave. You didn't like it from the beginning, but now you are getting accustomed. God says, I will give you a reason. He said, I will curse you. I will cause you to come out. In other words, God will give you a reason to come out. He didn't say, I will carry you out. He said that you will willingly come out. What does he mean? It means no matter the broken heart you got, he's giving you a better man. No matter the failure you got, he is giving you a better scenario. And he said, because of what he, the Lord, is putting ahead of you, he'll give you a reason to come. 2024, I pray, let marriage bells ring. Oh, 2024. Let scholarships come your way. Amen. You are afraid of going back to school because you paid fees and the money was wasted. The Lord said he will cause scholarship to come your way. He will cause you to come out of the grave. Amen. And I hear an amen here. Amen. You are coming and come says, I'm coming out. Amen. By the glory of God. I am, I am coming out. What is The Bible says, and we... <laughs> Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who do not look at the suffering of today, but beheld the glory and moved on and marched on to the end. What does it mean? If you don't see glory, you can never be motivated to move. What this means is that God will cause you to come out because he will show you something good. Say in the name of Jesus. By the glory ahead, I am coming out of every grave. By the glory, by the promotion, by the, by the open door, by the open, by the open heavens, by the open Father, heavens. Lord, Father Lord, I am stirred up. I am, I am coming out. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord any, grave any grave that has held me down, held me down for, years, for years, that has held me down, held me down for, months, for months, for seasons, for seasons as I climb my hands, I break out, I break out, I break out, I break out. Lift your voice and make pray, brother, brother. but don't be again. Zende beli adada bada repa papa ni satada bra. I will cause them to come out in the name of Jesus. You will not hide again. You will not hide again. The problems of your life will not cause you to hide, but the glory of God will cause you to come out. A testimony will cause you to come out in the name of Jesus. Maya ya ya branda basata e kapaya. E kabrande le bashada baya, e kapada brande ba. Say in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the grave, holding my life, my destiny, holding my glory, holding my next level, my prosperity. As I pray, I come out, I come out, I come out, I come out, I come out for your prayer. Bada 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 branda. E pada ba e bele bo shanda bada ba. E pada ya ne bele ba shanda bada da. Ya kada branda lo ba shanda ba. We will not stay in graves and die. We will not remain in graves and die. We will not stay in graves and die. We will not remain in graves and die. In the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, my Lord and King, Father, we pray in the assignment of the wicked to lure me to remain in graves by your glory and by your light. I am coming out. 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 By a baby and Dasha, Reka Papa, a rebanda baba 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 baba, a pandele bada bada, Raka Padaba, 
We are coming out because there is nothing for us in the grave. We are coming out. There is no life in the grave. Jesus died. And on the third day, he arose. When he arose, he did not stay in the grave. He got out. Like Jesus, you are coming out. You are not dead. You are coming out. You are coming out of every pain. You are coming out of every depression. You are coming out of every failure. You are coming out. You will not remain in that grave. You will not remain in that place. In the name of Jesus, by the power, by the efficacy of the blood, I am coming out. I'm coming out. I break every form of comfort and I come out. I break every form of comfort and I step out into glory. I step out into honor. I step out into abundance. Ah, Akata. Masada Badabra Ayeka Pade Bale Badabaya E Padaba E Padaba E Padabaya E Padebelia E Padebreada We are coming out We are getting out We are moving out In the name of Jesus We will not stay in limitation and stagnancy We are coming out by the blood by fire We are coming out in the name of in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, listen. Nothing is more powerful than the word of God. Yes, yes. yes. He said, my words are yea and amen. amen. What? The verse number 12, he said, therefore, he said, therefore, prophesy and say to them, that say the Lord God, behold, my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves. My God. And bring you into the land of Israel. Jesus. This is a promise God has given them. So what God was telling them is that I am bringing you out hey. not to come and loiter around. Hey. But I'm bringing you out for you to enter your promise. There is a certain promise God has given you. Oh, hey. the whole Ezekiel 37 hey. was about stirring the children of Israel up to go back and possess the promise of God. Hey. The Lord has said something about your life. The Lord has said something about your children. The Lord has said something about your business. But something is keeping you down. The whole of 37 came to stir you up to tell you that there is a promise of God for your life. Today we will arise and we will walk into our glory. We will walk into our promise. The word of the Lord will never fail. Say in the name of Jesus by the word of the Lord by the power of the Holy Ghost. Say by the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus I possess my possession in the word of the Lord. I possess my promise. I, promise. I, declare, I declare according to the word. To the he, word. Said, he said he will bring me, will bring me into, my land, into my land. Into the land, into the land of, Israel. of Israel. May the Lord bring me, Lord bring into, me the into the land of marriage. Of marriage. And he said the Lord, the Lord will bring you will bring into, the into the land of marriage. Of marriage. The, Lord the Lord will bring me, will bring me into, the Lord, into, the land, into the land of financial, of financial increase. increase. The Lord, the Lord will bring me, bring me into the land of prosperity, into the land of dominion. Lift your voice and begin to pray right now. Bring us into our promise. Bring us into our promise. Father, your words are yea and amen. No word from your mouth will fail. No word from your mouth has ever failed. Therefore, we pray, oh God, bring me into my promise. In the name of Jesus, bring my family into our promise. Bring us into our promise. In the name of Jesus, it is only you who can do this. We pray, oh God, my Lord, bring us into our promise. What you have said concerning our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said Joseph will be greater. Eventually, he became greater. You said Jacob will be greater than Esau, and it came to pass. You are the one who leads men into their destinies. You are the one who leads people into their greatness. Therefore, as we pray, oh God, 
bring us to God into honor bring us to God into blessing bring us to God into victories bring us to God into financial stability oh Lord my God my father my maker I my shocker I see the Lord bringing you uh, into manifestations uh, of his promises for your life uh, in the name of Jesus uh, the Lord will bring you there you don't know the way there you don't know how to get there the one who spoke the word knows the way he will bring you by the way he will lead you beside the still waters uh, and bring you into manifestation and bring you into the way and bring you into his word and bring you into his word Mayaka dada bada ba aye pa de bre ada i pa shada ba de raka pa da ba da 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 raka pa pa ya rebanda ba da da aye le ba sukate me le ba kaya dosha bring me into greatness bring me into the promise bring me into righteousness bring me into holiness bring me into Christ bring me oh God into prayer bring me into the word bring me into the promise bring me into the promise let the Lord bring us into the promise he has promised that you will own your own house may the Lord bring you into that promise he has promised you that you will build before you die may the Lord bring you into that promise promise you uh, that you will have your masters and your doctorate. Uh, may he bring you into that promise. He has promised you uh, that you will finish with prayer first class. Uh, may the Lord bring you into that promise in the name of Jesus. Uh, he has promised you uh, that every year he will promote you. May the Lord bring you into that promise. Ayakopa yadeve repanda bakata rape kapadaba ayade panaba rabandeba in the name of Jesus may the Lord bring you into his promise Amen. the promise that he made to you Amen. that he made to your fathers Amen. that he made to your father's fathers Amen. may the Lord bring that promise to you Amen. may he cause you to walk into that promise Amen. he said and I will bring them into their land may the Lord bring you into your prophetic manifestation Amen. in the name of Jesus see Bible says not he that will it nor he that run it yes. It's not he that will it. See, no matter how hungry we are, you don't know the way into the manifestation. But the Lord knows. So when the Lord said, he said, I will, number one, open their graves. Then I will cause them to come out. But in fulfilling and coming into their mandate and their promise, he said, I, the Lord, I will bring them. May the Lord lead your hands and bring you. May the Lord cause you to enter into promise. May he cause you to enter into fulfillment. May he cause you to enter into honor. May he cause you to enter into dominion. May he cause you to enter into into, into power. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. Kayabada branda bayada. Kashadaba. The word of the Lord will never fail. Because he will bring you in. The promise of God will never fail. Because he will bring you in. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. Cause you to have fulfillment Amen. in everywhere. Amen. The Lord said he held the hand of Cyrus yeah. and brought him to defeat kings yeah. and nations. So would he hold your hands Amen. and bring you into the place of a mother. Amen. You are looking for a child, may he bring you to the space of a mother. Amen. You are looking for marriage, may he bring you to the space of a wife and a husband. Amen. You are looking for money and blessing and commerce. May the Lord bring you to that space Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I love you. My name is the Reverend Kalkay. Before I go on to say, can call me the revivalist, I want to remind you that today is Friday. Go for prayer service. Sunday morning, go to church and go early. Sorry. This is not church. This is fellowship. Go to church. Your pastor is looking for you. God bless you. I love you. My name is Reverend Kake. Call me the revivalist. Do have a stead up day. I love you. God bless 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 you. Nyamye gwama okumno ose ayeyi nyamye.